Hey guys, it's Unders. We're coming in with a, another Logic X tutorial. What we're going to do in this tutorial is show you how to find the attack times or a good attack time for percussive sounds like drums. Let's get into it. Say my name out loud. Hello guys, so we are inside Logic. Now if these videos are being helpful for you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got questions and any other Logic videos you would like to see, comment down below. So, what I'm gonna show you today is just a little technique that you can use with any compressor really, but it works really well uh, with the Logic compressor and also the other variations on the Logic compressor where you've got the attack and release settings anyway. So, all we've got here is just a really simple drum sample loaded in. Uh, we'll just stick that somewhere around there real quick. And if we hit. Cool, so nothing particularly special. It's just a drum loop from whatever this library is here on the left. You can have a look at that if you want to try and find it. And what I'm going to show you to do is put some ridiculously hard settings on the compressor. Like literally almost max out the threshold for this. Put the ratio right the way around to say 15. Make up, keep on zero, turn auto gain off. You're gonna put the attack to zero. You're gonna put the release time down to five milliseconds. They are ridiculous settings. It's gonna absolutely slam this noise. But what we're gonna do is then slowly bring the attack in. And when you do that, you're gonna be able to hear the changes a lot more prominently that are happening with that attack time. And you'll be able to hear the point where, where it's missing the transient now, and it's just gonna be catching the after part of the sound. So once you've done that and you've got your attack time, you can then bring the compressor back to more sensible levels from that point. I'm just gonna work through that process now. I'll show you here. Okay, so it seems to be around there, around 20 milliseconds, which is a tiny, tiny fraction of time. But as you see, in terms of an attack, it's starting to get uh, relatively slow. But for that drum transient, you can now hear it popping through. So if I just go from zero and then back up to 20 here, you should be able to hear that transient's now coming through. Yeah, taken away, transient's back. And that's just a really easy way to find those transients and makes them a lot easier to hear. And then from here, you can then dial in the release as well. Yeah, I think around 110 there, it's catching the wires of the snare a little bit more. And now if we compress this a little bit more sensibly, so let's say we we'll bring it down to three uh, threshold, probably somewhere around here. We've got a nice natural sound in attack and release time setup. If we just A, B it real quick, we should be able to hear a obvious difference there. And let's do the makeup gain of about two and a half. So off. And that's just a really simple way for you to find your attack and release times because they can be quite hard things to hear and understand what's going on in compression. If you absolutely slam the compressor, they become a lot more obvious and they're easier to set. I hope that little tip was helpful for you guys. I will see you on the next video. Thank you for liking and subscribing.